Good afternoon. We're back with more DC Dual Force. In the last two videos, I played Aquaman Green Arrow and Aquaman Batman. Today, we're going to try the meta combination that I see most often, which is Wonder Woman Batman. And we'll see how that goes. It's a deck I don't think I've actually ever tried before, though I've seen it a lot. So, we should at least try it once. And we'll see. So we'll just include the standard package of might and tactics cards. At least standard according to what I have in my collection. Okay, so yeah, this is the point where we have to make decisions. Do you want Aquaman, Truth and Justice? I need probably two more cards out. And then Tactics. Arkham Guard is new to the collection. It's a very uh, niche card for a meta that isn't likely to exist right now. Bruce Wayne, I don't think the investments are that good, so I probably won't run him. This number is too low. I do want Batmobile. And I've been running Straight Jacket and occasionally I've regretted it. Let's go with Huntress. Um, the bronze might be too high. Let's drop the question. Or we could keep the question and drop a might bronze. But which one? Those might bronzes are pretty good. I like them all. Maybe Bibbo? And go with Queen Hippolyta. Okay. So let's see if people are playing this deck because it's good, or are they just playing it because it's a recognizable Euro combo? Of course, my collection is incomplete, so this won't really be a, a good evaluation of whether this is good. So one note before we start. My collection currently lacks one, two, three, four, five, six heroes. And if we go into the shop, we can see that The drop rate for a hero from a pack is 4%. 4% 4 is 1 in 25 packs to get a hero, and I need to get 6 heroes. That's 150 packs to get all the heroes, so that's going to take 150 days if the rate of 1 pack per day holds as a free-to-play player. That would be 5 months to get all the heroes. That's a long time. That's a long time. Five months to get all the cards. In Marvel Snap, it took about three months. Now, I have spent some money, and I'm probably willing to spend money if the rank system is good. 150 packs at a rate of 15 boosters for roughly $25, give or take. A little less. 
so we need we would need to buy 10 times 15 boosters it's about 250 dollars to get all of the euros on the expensive side for a digital card game in my opinion it would not be that expensive for a physical card game but uh, for a digital card game that's a little pricey and so I hope that the monetization system that we could get it down to less than two hundred dollars for all the heroes that would be my hope but we'll see whoops we don't want an AI game very lucky that one of the very first heroes that I pulled from PAX was Aquaman. And of course I bought Green Arrow, but pulling Aquaman, there was, I think, what was it, seven or eight heroes I could have pulled, and I got Aquaman as one of the first. Pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. a strong start. can't play Batman yet, it's a silver resource. He didn't have anything to play, okay. So we can make our own Batman to counter his, but I didn't draw another bronze, so. I'm actually not going to use Wonder Woman's power here. That's not great luck. I think I have 20 two bronze cards, so it's like 50-50 each draw that'll be bronze, or 22, 21 out of 34, it's more than 50-50, but two turns in a row he didn't draw one, so I had to float a resource. Nothing you can do about that. You can't put more bronze in the deck. It may arguably have too much as it is. Okay, uh, well, um, his Batman is going down to my Batman now, and once again, I have to float a blunt bronze resource, and that is just not good. May the gods grant us their favor. I think he's had to float it as well, though, so... Maybe we're in a similar situation, and we got very high value for that Batman trade. Okay. So 
So now we can start doing some stuff. Um, let's try Speedy first. Okay, and then we'll go Batwing. strong spot so I can leave him. Okay, so here we go. play Steve Trevor next round as a response but I'm not sure which hero power I'll need more right now it'll depend on which way the board goes because if I need like one damage specifically I might go Batman but if I just want to play a couple of allies and then use Wonder Woman then charge Wonder Woman Steve, Trevor, and Superman Robot. That is not Superman Robot. Can you not bring him back to hand now? Oh my gosh. All right. May the gods grant us their favor. the 
gods grant us their favor. that and then I could trade in crypto and use Batman and play Superman robot or I could play aluminum electric arrow I don't think crypto is worth saving because it saves speedy. I am at a hand size disadvantage, but I have two cards on the board. So it really depends on how efficiently he can deal with my board and what I draw next. With the flash at only 7 HP, the effectiveness of the flash's hero power is going to be greatly reduced. He's drawing quite well. May the gods grant us their favor. <laughs> Ready to race? Oh wow, he's not scared. cards are not useful. Oh, well, actually, now they are because we are in the gold resource. I didn't realize that. Let's grab a gadget. Batmobile will give plus four, five damage. Clearly I do this. do this. 
take out the flash. And go face with Batman. What does he do again? Draw an action? Okay. Apparently he does have actions to draw. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, that's a good draw. Batman is... Oh, Batman could have been dead. Yeah, I don't think we can win. Oh yeah, that is Flurry, so... Yeah, that, his draws were just really good. He drew silver exactly when he needed silver. And, uh, I don't think his deck is just straight up better, because I'm not seeing any, like, ultimate cards or any cards that we don't have. It just came down to draws. Two, two rush decks, and, and we drew worse. But, uh, that is the weakness of playing rush decks. The Batman Wonder Woman deck is a rush deck and it is very draw dependent and when it doesn't draw well, then it just looks bad. There's no way around it. Interesting. Superman Robot has the greatest chance of us being able to bat signal next round with it. In a control deck, a control Harley Quinn deck, that would be interesting.
I don't think this card is very good. I think I'm gonna remove it after this game. That's a good draw, but not for this round. See what he's got. These are these silver turns are really crucial because players keep bronze resources in their opening hand, and then the question is always, can you draw the silver resources needed to play on curve? And if you can, then you'll be in the better position, and if you can't, you'll be in a pretty rough spot. So this first silver, double silver turn is pretty important. Okay. That is no problem. We have Batman. Pretty strong spot with card advantage. He does have Harley. Okay, that just dies to the steel repeating arrow. Not the random attack he was hoping for. And he actually can't use poison ivies if he's looking now. Let's see if we can get damage. or Huntress. I think it's Huntress at this point in the game. Or you could go Batmobile. There'll be like three, so I could go up to three, four, five, six. Ah, I think actually Huntress is better. May the gods grant us their favor. So we'll do this.
Okay. Batmobile, so it's plus six attack for this turn. Um, let's do this. Aquaman. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Sure. May the gods grant us their favor. This deck wins, it's just dominating. But then it did get dominated in a loss. The bat signal's been a big card in this video. We haven't seen one other Batman Wonder Woman deck, that's interesting. Silver. Spot. Do we try for the damage gadget? Oh, my hand is bugged. Okay, there it goes. Um, I think it's going to be Steve Trevor to charge Batman. Hopefully grab damage. played another recruit in front of that Naomi, we could have been in trouble. May the gods grant us their favor.
So we're getting into the silver now, and we haven't drawn any silver. Which is kind of making an argument for keeping one silver in the opening hand. But if you end up with two, you're in trouble, because then your bronze phase is going to be really weak. Do Bluebird first. See what gadget we get. If we draw a batwing at this point, it'll be a huge batwing. His gadgets are going to be monsters, thanks to Lucius. So he may be able to kill the Wayne Tech Engineer with damage. Or reduce two recruits by two. That is going to be a difficult advantage to overcome. Well, that doesn't do anything. It doesn't double upgrade them. Okay, he didn't get damage. Pretty strong board state. Let's see what he's got. So it's interesting, the first Lucius is very high value, the second Lucius is very poor value. card? He does. Well, Cyborg was a very strong draw. And it looks like we just lose now. Lost to a combination of uh, well, only drawing one silver card, no gold, and also 
Cyborg, Lucius. That is why Lucius is such a high value craft. Once the crafting system becomes available. This time I'm going to try keeping one silver. And we end up with two silver and we may not, but I think it's more likely to draw bronze than silver because of the way the deck is constructed. So it's probably better to have a silver in hand than an extra bronze. Maybe. We'll test it and see. Gods grant us their favor. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Okay. So we can go Batwing. It's a good draw. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Grant us oh, whoops. Favor. I was going to play another card. That was silly. Definitely do this. Is it worth burning tear gas right now? to give Batwing plus one. I don't think so. Not unless there's some specific thing that I'm trying to counter. I 
having a silver resource at the appropriate time is such a big deal. I think I like generally keeping one silver in the opening hand. I think it's pretty important. I'm going to start doing that. Lucius again, okay. have any more silver or gold so if he can deal with the board we're in trouble and he's got his upgraded gadgets definitely gonna help May the gods grant us. Probably life. we just lose to the upgraded gadgets, even though we had established a superior board state. I don't see any way we beat those gadgets in the long term. And I don't think his draw wasn't weak enough that we can just blitz him down, so we're gonna lose to the gadgets, I think. my heroes for this, so... May the gods grant us their favor. It does waste Batman's uh, ambush, but that's alright, because we... Okay. Well, I thought it wasn't looking good, but I had forgotten about Batman. He was the key. the Batman that was going to be generated by the bat signal. So he saves the day. I think I've played this player two times in a previous video as well and we split. It's just going to come down to draws. I don't have any significant edge in deck building. There's not a lot of room to create a significant edge by your play. So we will keep one silver again. May regret it this time. Unless I can get a bat signal off. I 
Yikes. Now this isn't good. May the gods grant us their favor. So you're not gonna play any recruits? I guess not. That's a rough draw. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Do not want to defend the Robin because he charges your heroes when he attacks. This game is going strangely. Because now I can just do this. Oh, he does still defend. I forgot. So it doesn't say in the tooltip, it says your front row characters. Yeah, it's all other friendly characters, not just front row. Okay, so it didn't matter where he put it. Um, yeah, that makes sense. We definitely... Actually, I don't think we play Batman this turn. Good bat signal again. Superboy. Heal Wonder Woman. And next turn we can double Batman and just clean up, hopefully. Yeah, I, I forget that you don't have to put guard recruits in front of anything to still have them defend, so that was not a misplay. Grant us their favor. Can't resist the temptation to go face. Never can. Maybe he's gonna still trade with Superboy, we'll see. Yeah, he's still going to. Alrighty. So, this should be a fairly active turn. Gotta take out the Robin. He's very high value. So, we wanna do this. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. the 
God's clean, great clean up the fun. board. Save the HP. Suddenly we're in a pretty strong spot. Now there is there's been nothing wrong with his play at all in this game. He's played well. You have a gold resource, it may just come down to that. Okay, he does. May the gods grant us their favor. As do I. It's going to come down to our final draws. didn't want to uh, protect the Batman. Okay, so that's plus three, six to one of my heroes. Definitely do want to play that. So let's go gadget. Ooh, do I want to return Aquaman to hand and replay him? This is actually tough. I'm gonna try the Batmobile. I don't know if it's the right play or not. I think Aquaman's probably safer.
like to feel that, man. He can KO Wonder Woman, so this sacrifices Wonder Woman doing this. Oh wow, that's a draw. That is a draw. May the gods grant us their favor. So can he resist the temptation to go face? If he clears the narwhal, I don't think I can clear his swamp thing. Or he can KO Wonder Woman, that's actually pretty tough. That I wasn't expecting. Okay. Do this. That's pretty clutch. That'll be game. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm not sure how to analyze that or even if I should. So I'll just probably talk about my play, which is, I think I played it fine. Well, Batman Wonder Woman is interesting. It sometimes runs out of steam early if your opponent can deal with your board. And then you just lose, but at other times it completely dominates, and Bat Signal is extremely strong. I'm not sure what my win rate is when I get the Bat Signal off, but it's got to be in the upper 90s. That card is so good. So, so good. Lucius is definitely very strong. I would like to have him. Robin is definitely very strong. So I'm far from the perfect version of this deck. It's definitely a very good deck. It does run out of steam early sometimes, so I don't know if it's the best meta deck, but it's definitely a good deck, and the deck that I would recommend for new players because you get those heroes by default. So it's going to be the best deck that's available for new players, and so we're going to be seeing it for a long, long time unless nerfs happen. So anyway, GG's to my opponent. Very interesting games, and thank you for watching.